it's in place news .com, your top headlines in under 10 minutes right here on YouTube. My name's Nar Williams. It's Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2008. Let's waste no more time, shall we? Well, she's lost eight primaries in a row to rival Barack Obama. She's losing ground in the polls. And now Hillary Clinton has another problem. The largely Catholic Latino voters that she's been doing so well with are less than thrilled with her pro-choice position. Archbishop Jose Gomez complained Wednesday about plans for a rally by Senator Clinton, an abortion rights supporter, at a Catholic university. On the campaign trail in San Antonio, Senator Hillary Clinton is hoping for a big win on March 4th when Texas holds its primary. But Wednesday, she apparently ventured into some unwelcome territory. The Archdiocese of San Antonio is unhappy that Senator Clinton spoke at a Catholic university Wednesday night. Uh, I was surprised to learn that uh, Senator Clinton uh, uh, was uh, having a, an event at St. Mary's University. I didn't know anything about it. Uh, I learned because phone calls that came to my, my office on, uh, on, on Monday afternoon. I called the university and they told me that it was true and I expressed my, my, uh, my surprise and disappointment. Archbishop Jose Gomez says the senator's stance on abortion, pro-choice, is not that of the Catholic Church. Abortion uh, is a great tragedy, and, uh, uh, and it's against the teachings of the Catholic Church, so, so it's difficult for us uh, to, uh, to promote somebody who is a, a consistent record against that basic teaching of the Catholic Church. The university issued a statement saying it does not endorse political candidates and acknowledges fundamental differences between the teachings of the church and the positions of some presidential candidates. A spokesperson for the Clinton campaign said in a statement, the campaign respects the archbishop's point of view and appreciates the invitation to speak at the school. Ross Simpson, the Associated Press. The Senate Ethics Committee said on Wednesday that Idaho Senator Larry Craig acted improperly in connection with a men's room sex sting last year and had brought discredit on the Senate. They stopped short of using his own language to describe his behavior, but I won't. Senator, you've been a nasty, nasty, naughty, naughty boy. Members of a congressional panel say their colleague Larry Craig has brought discredit on the U.S. Senate. The Senate Ethics Committee started investigating Craig after his conviction on disorderly conduct charges last summer. He was arrested for allegedly soliciting sex from an undercover police officer in a men's bathroom in Minneapolis. He initially pled guilty, but after the scandal became public several months later, he tried to withdraw his plea. The Ethics Committee told the Idaho Republican, Your claims to the court to the effect that your guilty plea resulted from improper pressure or coercion or that you did not, as a legal matter, know what you were doing when you pled guilty, do not appear to be credible. The bipartisan group says it believes Craig changed his plea just to avoid the consequences of his actions. Craig told the Associated Press, I'm disappointed and strongly disagree with the conclusions reached by the Senate Ethics Committee. Craig promised to step down after his fellow Republicans called on him to resign, but he decided to stay in office until his term expires next January. The Ethics Committee will not take any further action against the three-term senator. Brian Thomas, the Associated Press. And now a special Valentine's Day science report. Call it whatever you like, but Florida State researchers have come up with a longer version on wow when you spot someone who catches your eye. I usually call it swing, but proving once again that researchers don't quite get out of the lab enough, they've labeled the affliction attentional adhesion. Ah, love is in the air this Valentine's Day, but if your significant other happens to catch your eye wandering, well, you might just have a scientific excuse for it. New research on romantic attraction shows all of us are biologically programmed to seek out and fixate on attractive people. Florida State University researcher John Maynard says our brains are designed to latch on to people's attractive features on our quest to find the right mate. One of the novel things about our research is it shows uh, just how quickly, automatically, and powerfully this can happen. So we've shown that literally in the blink of an eye, within the first 100 milliseconds, that's just a tenth of a second, um, our attention, um, we can detect attractiveness and our attention just gets riveted to these people. 
And Maynard's research also shows that those in committed relationships tend to fixate on attractive members of the same sex. People who are feeling jealous and are worried about their partner cheating on them, their eyes become quickly and automatically riveted by attractive members of their own sex because these are potential romantic rivals or competitors. So how does it work? In the study, test patients were shown pictures of very attractive or average looking people for just one second before being asked to look at something else. Maynard and his team determined that all it takes is a half a second for people to figure out if someone else is attractive or not. Still, despite the scientific evidence to avoid heartache, our advice, keep your eyes fixated on the one you love. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press. And those are your top headlines for February 14th, 2008 from In Place News right here on YouTube. You can get a whole lot more headlines streamed live right to your desktop at mplacenews.com. Go check us out at our site. We're streaming live there. Or you can download our desktop player and watch us live right on your desktop. My name's Nar Williams. Thanks for being with us today. Subscribe to our videos so you get the update every day. And now let's end things with an AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. A strong earthquake has struck southern Greece. The quake had a preliminary magnitude of 6.5. There are reports people were seen fleeing from buildings in southern cities. No immediate reports, though, of injuries. An American English teacher facing child sex charges at home has been detained in Thailand. It's believed Earl Bonds arrived in Asia two months ago and worked as an English tutor. He's originally from Missouri. People in the Northeast are still cleaning up after a sloppy blast of snow, sleet, and rain moved through the region. Hundreds of schools were closed. Thousands lost power. The storm system has been blamed for at least 15 deaths since Monday. Government safety officials are taking a new look at ATVs. At least 555 people were killed in accidents involving all-terrain vehicles in 2006. More than 100 of them were children. And officials say based on reports from hospitals, those numbers are on the rise. John Belmont, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. Yeah.